drought times during those years, also some very severe fires. Um, I'm an industrial designer and have all uh, my life dreamed of the ability for technology to influence and work with the environment in a harmonious way, not aggressively attacking but working together with the environment. And so we started uh, in the 90s developing a system that could influence some local weather and uh, we were testing and testing and testing. Finally I was getting phone calls from farmers saying can you also turn the rain off please and uh, of course we were able to adjust it down or up incrementally so we were able to satisfy that request. So in the late 90s we registered the company Acquiesce and uh, we took on some private shareholders that are now involved and we took the company forward over the years to the point that now we were confident in uh, August uh, this year to present to the United Nations that we have a solution for the drought and famine in Africa. I mean, this is, I, I think this is perhaps, uh, in my own words, the most, I mean, and the great, one of the greatest innovations I've ever had. I mean, is, anyone, is there anyone else who's doing this? We've heard of some, uh, perhaps, uh, historic rainmakers that have worked and achieved things uh, in Africa particularly. But there's other technologies out there where scientists are working with cloud seeding and um, ionification where you deliver ions that help create an environment suitable for rain droplets to form. Uh, there are some other technologies I've heard of, uh, perhaps in the US, where they're modifying or trying to modify the ionosphere <laughs> to get uh, weather changes. I'm not sure how accurate that is. But as far as I know, no one has this particular stream of technology where we're, we're looking larger scale. It's, it's modifying a flow corridor gently, incrementally, to deliver rain adjustment into the, the required areas. Um, I mean, Mahindra, uh, 